I'm so bitchy now when I go to bakeries and get a cookie because everything is judged against this one. And like I've written about this cookie, I've written articles about this cookie, I dream about this cookie. I've woken myself up because I am I start biting the air. <laughs> um, really embarrassing, but yeah, that's that's a sign that I'm hungry and I'm probably dreaming about something really delicious. So yeah. This is the ultimate chocolate chip cookie. It will ruin you for all other cookies. Every time I make this for any friends, it becomes their go-to cookie. This is legitimately my favorite cookie on this earth. It has all of my favorite flavors. It's got brown butter, dark brown sugar, toffee, dark chocolate. The chocolate never seems to actually harden up. It's just in this perennial state of goo, which I love. I cannot wait to eat this cookie. So let's get started. So this cookie is a little bit different than most. This one we're actually starting with brown butter. Um, this does a couple of things. The first thing is it adds this incredible flavor. Because we're browning the, uh, the butter and we're not whipping it, um, it's going to lay a little bit flatter. It's the edges of the cookie you're gonna crisp up. You're gonna get a nice lacy, hard texture on the outside of the cookie, but the inside is gonna stay really moist and, and the chocolate's just gonna get really gooey. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on this pan. I'm gonna drop two sticks of unsalted butter in there. You just wanna basically swirl. That'll help get the butter to melt more quickly. So the thing about the brown butter is it happens really quickly. So you can see the outside edges of the pan, the butter is already starting to brown and stick to the sides. As soon as you see it get slightly golden, go ahead and transfer it to a heat proof bowl and you watch, it's going to continue to brown even as it sits. And, oh, it smells so good. So this is super hot. I'm gonna scrape it into my stand mixer. Um, it needs to cool down. If I put my raw eggs in this right now, you're gonna get brown butter scrambled eggs. And that might sound good, but it's really not. So I'm gonna let that sit and cool, and I'm gonna mix the dry ingredients. Salt, definitely important for baked goods. By using baking soda, you're gonna promote some, uh, both the spread of the cookie, but also the, uh, the browning. I'm gonna give this a little whisk. This step is really important because you wanna make sure that you've thoroughly incorporated all of the dry ingredients together. And now, toffee. I actually prefer having the toffee in the, uh, the cookie, so I am going to refrain from starting to eat this. I'm gonna mix the sugars into the butter. The butter is still pretty hot, but it's not gonna matter for the sugar. Nothing's gonna happen other than the, it's gonna cool down a little bit more. And all we're really doing here is we're just mixing to combine and to also cool it off. It smells so good. This is 72% cacao chocolate wafers. Wafers tend to melt more evenly and smoothly than chips do. I also find that uh, whenever you buy wafers, they tend to be better quality chocolate than your average chip. So I've got this on low. I'm gonna add the vanilla. I'm adding two room temp eggs. All right, I'm gonna increase to medium. It's turning color, it's a, it's a little bit lighter. It takes between about 30 seconds and a minute to get this consistency. You really wanna get this sort of light and creamy texture. Otherwise, your cookie is just gonna spread and you're gonna get these like really thin cookies. So now, we are going to add the dry. I'm gonna pulse this to make sure that I don't splatter flour everywhere. Okay. Almost looks like it's come together. I'm gonna add the chocolate. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Pulse it again, just to mix. And now, I'm gonna take this out. Now I'm going to add the toffee. And make sure you get all of these little shavings as well, because those are gonna melt in and just add a lot more flavor. Just really get in there, scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl. This dough is gonna seem really loose, and that's fine. Because of the brown butter, you really need to let this sit for at least 30 minutes. All right, that looks really good. I wanna stick my finger in there and eat it so bad. And I think 
think I'm going to. <laughs> Quality control. I'm gonna leave that, put it out of arm's reach and uh, let it sit for 30 minutes to harden up and then we'll make cookies. So the dough is rusted. And by the way, can I just say that every single member of this crew got a spoon and ate cookie dough too. So it wasn't just me. Um, it's really good though. Uh, so this dough has been resting. So you can see it, it comes together. This is what you're looking for. They should be firm dough balls when you put them on the sheet tray. Otherwise they're just gonna spread and you're not gonna get the texture um, that you should get with this cookie. I typically use an ice cream scoop when I do cookies. The shape is perfect for, for getting like beautiful cookies. I usually do nine just to get an idea of how much they're gonna spread. And then all the subsequent trays, I will then add either more or keep it the same depending on the spread. There is salt in the cookie dough. Um, I deliberately did not put a lot of salt. Uh, if I was going to not top it with flaky sea salt, I would have upped the salt in the dough. I really love the hit of salt on the top. Um, visually, it looks pretty, but the other thing that it does, it gives you one more added bit of crunch on the outside. Chris Morocco actually was around when I was developing uh, and testing this recipe. And he and I would literally just take a sheet tray, fill it up with the, uh, the cookie balls and stick it in the freezer. And in case of emergency, we would just pull out like four or five balls of cookie dough, throw them in the oven. You've got fresh hot cookies, just salt them right before they go in the oven. Don't put the salt um, on top and then freeze them because um, it'll melt and uh, you'll just get a really salty, weird edge. All right, so I'm going to throw these in a hot oven. You want this uh, 375. So if you really wanted to do two sheets at a time, go for it. The reason why I didn't is because there are certain cookies that benefit from being in the center of the oven. So it's getting the optimal heating from the bottom and from the top. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, so beautiful. As much as I want to tear into these, they're super hot. If I tried to pull them off the pan, they would just sort of disintegrate and melt. So I'm gonna leave them on the tray to crisp up the bottom a little bit for about 10 minutes. If you try and pull these off uh, before 10 minutes, they're just gonna be way too soft. Um, and especially if you're using the wafer chocolate, they'll just sort of disintegrate and chocolate will go everywhere. All right, so these are gonna sit for another 15 minutes or so. I might cut into one. You wanna split one now? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. You wrote the rules. You can break them. I know. Mm. That's so good. Cookie. Do you, want, do you want some early? Oh. Is this like a cheater, cheater's cookie? Cheater's yeah. cookie. Do you want some? Uh, Carol's was ten, but. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Wow, that's pretty intense. All right. As much as I want to eat these all to myself. I'm gonna invite Alex in, so come on Delaney. Let's, uh, I, you've had these before. Right? I have, and you're a kind man because you run the risk of me eating all of these. Well, really, I, I want you to pull me a, a shot of espresso. Okay, so we're trading. We're trading, we're one for yeah, one. yeah. <sighs> Dude. Hmm. I'm never gonna fold. Great. Um, mm, so down the brown butter, man. And the toffee and the salt. Whoa. Bye -bye. Dude, thank you. This Welcome. is like making my afternoon right now. Anytime. You know there's- uh, Anytime. And you, I'm holding you to that. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be like, Rick, where's the cookies? I mean, you know, I'll, I'll make more. <laughs> I'll make you a coffee. <laughs> Still waiting for my coffee, but um, I'm just gonna keep eating cookies because they're really good. I'm actually really upset because I don't have a swap of the cookies, but that's fine. I'm gonna power through because I love this cookie so much.